Hi guys, girls, ladies, bots. <laughs> well, anyway, today we have two fantastic news. First of all, we have our forum up and running and operational, and I've, I've even posted a couple of posts there. Hope you find them useful. You can find the forum at, uh, well, the usual forum.blogseries.com. Register, start using it. The second news is that we finally have done it. We created a repos.us project. Now, it's very easy. Uh, you use it pretty much as your regular RSS project. The only difference is that we don't have categories for the repos.us. This is the way the content is syndicating, syndicated from them. So keep in mind that keyword Apple, in this case, might mean Apple Incorporated. And it also might mean just an apple or a food article. So keep those, keep your keywords uh, specific. That's the word I'm looking. I was looking for. Right. Let me show you how it how it's uh, how it's done. Basically, you name it. Let's say I want this for curation. So I'm naming it curation. Uh, if you want, well, you can use do whatever you want. Name it whatever whatever you like. Oh, for the love of God. Right, uh, content filter for auto posting. Here you post your keywords. Uh, if system will match them, project will go. Uh, the post will go to one of your blogs. Well, content held for review. It's the same thing as with uh, with other with RSS project. This will go in a review for curation. So there we go. These are my keywords that I'm looking for. I just pasted them, and my blogs are computers and technology and at the moment it's only one blog so well I'm setting like five posts per day just for a kicks of it create repost project moderation repost.us oh by the way we have added finally as you can see those lovely buttons above and below the project so you can click them and they do work so okay uh, system will process the queue every 10 minutes so you have to wait a little bit before you, the articles will start appearing i'll pause at this point and get back to you as soon as they they are in the queue for review right i must be lucky because there you go as you can see uh, here you have review one which means that one project has produced an articles for review now let's click on the number 44 it means that 44 matches there you go well now it starts loading as you can see there are plenty of content uh, yeah keep in mind this is embedded content uh, may 7 no not interested this is an old let's delete it so basically i'll pause until i find something which is interesting for me and I'll show you what you can do with it right look at this Samsung Galaxy S3 versus iPhone 4s drop test oh my god those idiots actually broke this beautiful phone but all right let's say this is something interesting uh, we can click on edit now you can see it will show you just the snippet of this article if you hit on the preview you will see the whole stuff as it should be including the videos right so what you can do uh, you can start adding yeah if you if you noticed I'm using the HTML button because this is what you see is what you get the kind of browser a kind of editor and basically you can mess a lot of things up so basically if you, you can start adding your editorial in spin tags if you wish but let's just for the argument's sake let's just say this is one article so I will go like oh my god why oh why okay let me just add my uh, it will be better <laughs> I'll just pause right here right if you have seen I have added a little bit a little bit of editorial here uh, and you can click an update there you go this is it will appear just above the article you can click on the preview and it will show you the whole deal 
as you can see. Yeah, there you go. Fantastic. Now, what can you do with it? First of all, if keep in mind, if you use spin tags in this and insert keywords, you have to create custom project from it because you can, as you can see, you can sh schedule it to post immediately uh, on on the blog or or choose uh, any random schedule <coughs> post like in next random two days for instance or in random six eight or eight hours whatever whatever you choose but the idea is if you use it if you use just a, just once uh, you can't put a spin tax because it will go only to one blog and it kind of doesn't make sense if you think about it so if you want to use spin tax in uh, header and footer you have to create a custom project and, but then you can send it out to many to a lot, uh, all of your blogs or whatever but basically that's that's how it looks so I'll just post it well, well heck I'll post it immediately Samsung Galaxy S3 Samsung Galaxy drop test and, mm -hmm. and iPhone drop test S and that was it. Else, drop test. There you go. Post immediately. Create article. Wham! There you go. Now, if you look at it, there it will show you that it's running zero out of one. Uh, it will post it within within a minute or two at the tops yeah and there you go posted now we can go and take a look at it open up there you go looks fantastic this is how you do your curation I think it's quite easy with uh, repos.us stuff. I think it kind of makes you can basically, uh, well, just for for kicks of it, this is actually one of my money sites, and I'm using my blog series just to post the relevant, fresh, curated content to it. You saw it took me maybe five minutes to write these couple of sentences, and that's that's your editorial voice. That's what makes this blog or your site unique that you add your own opinion and this is actually what Google likes today so go ahead use it wisely remember no categories Apple might mean just a rotten apple for a cider and it might, me might mean uh, Steve Jobs' apple you know the one with the piece bitten off all right uh, fat Steve out sorry for a messy video uh, I wasn't I was uh, wasn't prepared I'm a little bit excited about this whole thing and kind of you know uh, all jumpy and I want to use it because it's really great it really it really works really nice so have fun guys if you have any questions keep in mind you can always drop me a note write on the forum right